Hi and welcome to video number four. In this video we're going to put a coin on the screen. Each time you collect a coin it will randomly appear somewhere else on the screen and it will implement a score. So we've got a bit of a target for the game. It's very, the principle is very similar to the barrier we did in, we did in the last game. I've started off with a back without the barrier um, and putting the barrier back in will, will be something I will show you again in the later lesson. But for now, we're going to concentrate on creating collection with, with, a, with a coin. So following our standard template that we did in the very first lesson, I'm going to load the image. I'm going to give it, give it the image number six. Um, all will become clear as we develop the games further and we start to put them together, you'll see why I've done that. Um, but he, he, I could have easily called it number two. When we put the barrier in in the last game, we did call it number two. I'm calling this, well, it's coin JPEG. And then we're going to need to put the variables in. So this is coin equals six. Coin X pause equals we'll put it at two two hundred across. Coin Y position will be two hundred down. So we'll start start with it in the corner. Our 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 good guy of the Mario character starts right in the center of the screen. And we need to create the sprite now. Create create sprite and I'll be coin six and then we'll need to put some sprite put the sprite on the screen so we need to do set sprite position and that would be coin coin x pause and coin y pause so there, there's our main parts of it loaded up. Um, what I have done as well is I've copied the coin in ready. So there's coin JPEG and there it is shown. So I put the coin in ready. If I compile this, we should see roughly in the corner a coin appearing. And there it is. I'll move my character towards it and as you can see no interact no interaction yet because we haven't set up um, a collision a sprite collision so we now need to we need now need to make that so the first thing I'm going to do is put in a go sub and I'm going to call it coin collection and now that I've got the ghost up, I'll now need to scroll down to the bottom. It doesn't matter where these um, ghost subs go because they all get called where they get called within within the uh, routine. So there's coin collection and I put in my return and we're now ready for for the code. This is exactly the same as the lesson three. You we need to set a sprite collision. So I've got my code from last time, so I'll copy that and I'll just paste that in and then I will go through it. So if get sprite collision and it's exactly before we had barrier um it says if if get sprite collision, so if this if the sprites collide and that'll be the good guy hitting the coin and I called it coin if it's one remember if it was zero it it, it was no collision so if the, if there's a get sprite collision and the good guy hits the coin then coin x position equals random coin y position is random our screen is eight by six hundred so we need to be changing these coordinates so, so it would be eight by five seven five it was 800 by 600 so let's do 775 and let's do 
and 800 by 575 would do 575. You can fiddle around with these, put them where you want them to go. But basically what we're saying is if there's if there's a collision, randomly place the coin somewhere in the screen. Then we need to remember we need that we need to put the coin back on the screen. So initially when we started our game, I put the set sprite position here. But now that we're removing it and we're running within the ghost app, we need to now put the set we need now need to put the coin back in within the same operation we're in so that's the that's the main key is this part here so if i run the game when i hit that coin it should appear somewhere else on the screen it has so now as i go around i can spend my my time chasing the coin and it's not this, if you notice, it's they're not appearing off the screen. They are staying within the screen, so everything's everything's as it should be. And as you can see, the coin's gone quite low down there. So there's part of a game of collecting the coin. But what we'll probably want to do is add something in, or, or where we're where we're scoring. And so to do that. We just need to add some add some new features in. I've got them ready ready typed in, so that'll save us a bit of time. So let's let's have a look what we've got to do. So we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is is is, is we need to, we're gonna be scoring. So we're gonna we're gonna need a variable of 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 the score. So in our variable section of our code. We need to set what the score will be, and we're going to be setting the score to um, zero. So score that will be the, the variable name score equals zero, and then what we can do in our in our in our collection is copy in 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 the score score equals score plus one. So we'll put it in. Here. let's try it so let's have a look. We, I won't copy and paste it in I'll um, I'll put this in so score equals score plus one now so what we're saying it's it, it's still part it's still in the main if and end if statement so what's happening is is I'm saying if if get spike collision, if the good guy hits the coin, randomly place it, score equals score plus one. And each time each time that goes up we'll we should see we should see that happening. And I what I'll do, I won't put all the code in yet, we'll implement it as we go along. We will in the main in the main sub in the main subroutine or I mean in the main loop what I want to do is put in the score. So and I'll cover this a little bit further in a few moments. We've got print, there's the print command and we'll we'll play around with this in a few moments. Score. So print on the screen this the score and then it's a string so plus string string and then the variable name score. So and I run this now let's see what happens you can see i got score and i got score zero there so now each time i hit the coin you see that it's gone up one and i'll keep on going and um the, the score is keeping up so the next so i'll quit that so the next thing we need to do is end the game at a certain point so i'm going to go back down as we go along here and score equals score plus one and the last the last thing I was going to put in was if score equals five end. Now I'm gonna compile that and we should see an error because it because I've got a nested loop I need to put in an end if compile it now and it runs so I very quickly 
collect one, two, three, four, and I should collect this coin and the game should end. And as you can see, the game ends. And so that ends this, this little short tutorial. So all we did was we loaded a, we loaded a coin onto the screen using the sprites. Then we set up a go sub called a coin collection and we used the get sprite collision to have the go have the good guy hit the coin and we loaded the score onto the screen. I'll do a short tuto tu tutorial next week where I'll change the font size, the font colour and we'll put some sounds into this particular game. Thank you very much.